Dust mites are minute arachnids. They're distantly related to spiders and they are found in our beds and carpets within our homes and uh, they have pretty much a cosmopolitan distribution. So almost any home you'll find them. And they feed off human skin scales and uh, produce allergens uh, which cause asthma and other allergic diseases. Dust mites are found out in the natural environment as well. They, they have evolved from a group of, of uh, mites that are associated with birds and birds' nests. And then at some point um, in the last few tens of thousands of years, one group made a transition from birds' nests to human nests. Study of dust mites is important partly because um, about 100 million people worldwide uh, are allergic to dust mites. So the uh, allergies that dust mites cause represent a huge global public health problem. And at the mild end of the spectrum, um, you could see uh, a decrease in the quality of life. At the uh, other end of the spectrum, uh, asthma uh, due to dust mites has been known to result in fatalities. I, I hope this book will be used by uh, clinicians, um, medical researchers uh, involved in respiratory diseases and respiratory epidemiology. It contains an awful lot of information about the ecology and biology of dust mites relating to the epidemiology of dust mite allergy. And I've tried to bridge the gap between uh, the biological sciences and the clinical sciences um, with the content of this book. There are, there are many myths about dust mites that have grown up in the literature. They tend to be focused on issues of how easy or difficult it is to control them. For example, one of, one of the myths in the clinical literature is that it's just too hard to control dust mites. And uh, one of the things that I've, I've spent a lot of time focusing on is the fact that in order to see clinical improvement in symptoms of allergy, you really have to get the dust mite populations below a certain level. So one of the things I did was do an analysis that, that indicated that the successful clinical trials of dust mite control were ones in which there had been over a 90% reduction in dust mite allergens. I hope this book will aid researchers by, by pulling some context together of uh, their biology and showing how it relates to the clinical aspects of allergic diseases. That's my main aim with this book.